here is my first look on Luotsam. Let's check how they have built him. Level 80 out of 80, with his signature light gun at 80, traces all level 8, with all the nodes uh, activated, relics. They have given him the outgoing healing set, although we will see here that the outgoing healing boost is 20%. So he gets this uh, from the passive and they also have not given him any imaginary boost, damage boost, what is it here? So we can assume that this uh, globe sphere is attack and uh, let's check the energy research, 19.4 so I'm assuming also the rope is ER. Now the speed is at 37, so probably speed main starts on the boots. But you don't necessarily have to go with the passer B, as the four piece only counts for the start of the battle. You have one uh, skill point, one extra skill point. So when you're doing MOC or uh, content that you're gonna have consecutive uh, rounds of enemies. This one is not gonna break um, or make your team because your team should have been uh, put together out of the assumption that you will be skill point positive. Now, I'm not gonna go through the idle ones because it's a pay to win uh, character, but long story short, first idle one gives another 20% attack so you don't miss or you don't lose a lot of the healing potential especially when you have the rope at ER the second one is great as well it gets sealed on top of that yeah crazy stuff and then six I mean okay you beat the game he's very good so for whales value he's very good although his abundance and many whales might not go uh, too deep into abundance characters but He's definitely very well around in terms of Eidolons, he gives a lot of value, especially from E2 onwards. So it seems that um, Hoyo have learned from their Genshin experience and now E2 is usually a very good stopping point for Dolphins and the value of V6 is great as well for Whales. So great value for Eidolons, but you don't need them. He's amazing even at E0 and the most amazing uh, thing is the skill I think that removes the effect of the talent when the skill triggers it. So uh, he removes the effect of the enemies and he also removes the debuffs on allies. So he heals, he cleanses and debuffs enemies, removes the buffs from enemies. So let's jump into the gameplay. We see the field activated behind us. And he already removes the debuff. Nice. So let's check here. Prayer of the Abyss Flower, skill effect auto trigger on cooldown, after using an attack on an enemy, restore 8 speed to self. You get that.
If you watched up until this point and you liked our video, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out our next video. Overall thoughts, especially if you don't have Shepard and Bailu, go for Luoza. It's going to be an amazing addition and very well needed character in your roster. Bye.